Hello and welcome back to my shop. My name is Rick with Rick Racks Woodworking and today we're working on a special project. We're getting ready to build uh, or modify a Harbor Freight dust collector into a two stage from an original one stage uh, collector. And in order to do that we've got to build some things and one of the tools that we need that I don't happen to have is a compass. So we're going to build one today uh, out of some materials that I had around the shop and I thought I'd invite you to come along with the journey. Okay, so I've gathered up a few things uh, to make this project, uh, this compass that we're making so I can uh, draw my circles on these uh, boards and I'm going to need about uh, two foot uh, diameter so you know, I've got to uh, have at least a 10 inch uh, a compass to make that diameter run but it doesn't make any sense to make one that's only 10 inches that can't grow with me as I need it. So I found a uh, piece of hardwood dowel up in my uh, scrap bin uh, that happens to be 25 inches long which will give me a uh, fairly decent sized compass that I can grow with or uh, you know enlarge or reduce as I need to use it. So we've got this. Uh, that didn't cost us anything by the way because I had it in a scrap bin. Uh, we've got a pencil, just a regular old ordinary number two pencil, and a nail. That should be all we need besides a tape measure to tape uh, the distances that we're going to need for using this compass. So let's get started on this build. Okay, one of the jigs I made years ago uh, was just a piece of wood with a 45 uh, degree cut on each side to make a uh, 90 degree angle. Uh, this is explicitly for cutting round objects. This will come in handy today as we're going to drill a hole in this uh, oak uh, dowel for our compass. So we'll just put it in here and uh, get everything positioned to drill a hole for our pencil. And there's our hole for our pencil. Okay, now that we have our pencil in one end, based on the project that we need uh, to work on, we need 20 inches or 20 and a half inches from the tip of the pencil to the tip of the uh, nail that we're going to use uh, as our compass mark. So we will take our tape measure and uh, we'll lay out an area 20 and a half inches and we'll make a mark at 20 and a half inches for our nail. We're going to double check our measurements That looks like 20 and a half to me. And we'll take a nail and we'll put in to this 20 and a half uh, location. Okay, now we've taken the dowel and placed it in our uh, dowel drilling jig. And we've got our pencil uh, perpendicular to where we want it. And we're gonna put a nail uh, right here, but we need to drill a hole for it first at our 20 and a half inch mark. And we want to drill straight down. <laughs> and let's see. That will work. Let me get a hammer real quick. And we'll drive this nail right through the hole where it just penetrates to the other end. There, we have our pivot point and we have our pencil mark. So we have a functional compass and we didn't spend any money. Well folks, did you catch what I did wrong? 
I do make mistakes occasionally. I wanted to make a 20 and a half inch uh, circle, you know, diameter circle, and I set the compass up for 20 and a half inches, which when you put that up and figure it out, mathematically, that's a 41 inch circle. So I need to cut that measurement in half. So let's try that, uh, that shot over again. Okay, on the second run, uh, we're gonna try to get this right. So we're gonna take our measurement starting at the uh, pencil point. And since we want a 20 and a half inch uh, diameter circle, we need to set our compass up for 10 and a quarter inches. So we're going to place a mark at 10 and a quarter. Okay. I'm going to make that mark right there. And we will move over to our jig. Get our pencil perpendicular with uh, where we want our mark. Okay, let's double check our measurements. Ten and a quarter. Okay, we've got it perpendicular. We've got it marked where we want the, the hole for the nail. And we just drill straight down. Now let's double check and make sure we're right here. That looks pretty good. So we can come back. Set our nail. Take our pencil out and drive our nail through. Put our pencil back in. Now we should be able to measure that. at ten and a quarter. So we'll move everything out of our way. And we'll see how this works. Okay. So if we take our nail and put it in our uh, hole, let's make it a little bit deeper. Just like so. Stick it in our hole for center. And we just spin our compass around we should end up at our starting point. And that's what we did. So if you look here, you can see we have a complete circle mark and it is completely centered. So as you can see, sometimes you run into a problem in your shop. You don't have the right tool to get the job done, but if you use your head, a little bit of math and some scrap lumber, you can make a tool that can be used uh, to do the job. This uh, beam compass that we've made here, we can use over and over and over just by moving the position of the nail, uh, or we can get a little fancy and we can build one that's totally adjustable uh, without having to redrill. Uh, in this particular case, I needed a fast, simple uh, solution to my problem. This is what we came up with. 
didn't have to go to the store, we didn't have to spend any money, we didn't have to waste time, we just got the job done. I hope this video helped you. Come back, visit me again, give me a thumbs up, like, share my videos. Most importantly, have a blessed day.